where we all need to be thinking. The second thing I want to tell you, the reason cities, counties, and state was published is that this is the fastest growing sector of a value-based design. And why is this? Because this is where our tax dollars are. Welcome to Florida, folks. I moved down here to Paradise two years ago. In Florida, one out of four people is uninsured. One out of four people is unemployed. So welcome to Paradise. So yeah, the weather's great. But in reality, the value of health has taken second tier, if that, because we're worried about the value of keeping our homes down here. And it's a real problem. That's why cities, counties, and state is important because they're, they're having to make tax adjustments. As an example, I live just north of Naples. Naples is the fourth richest community in the United States. Over the last 18 months, we have 25% less tax dollars coming in. You can't support public education, you can't support police, and you can't support firemen when you have 25% less taxes coming in. That has an impact on the health care decision at the city and the county and the state. Those are your public employees. And oftentimes, those public employees are the largest group of publicly employed folks with benefits in the city or the county where you're trying to sell your, your product. Value-based design, at the end of the day, I'm not going to read my slides and you're welcome to have them. Value-based design, at the end of the day, is focused on outcomes. It is not a cost-based purchasing mechanism. It is long-term and we're looking for healthy and productive and high-performing employees at whatever station in the company that they work. Those are also the people that will go and buy the products that you're making. So, what do we know? Data design, delivery, and dividends. The reason I asked you about what kind of data do you collect, can you sub-segment adherence right around clinical phase three by gender and age? It's because personalized benefits are coming. They will happen this year. We've already seen several companies doing that. That means that you need to know the target group where your pharmaceutical, your intervention, will serve the public best. There will be contracting that will be developed around that. You want to be positioned to do it. Value-based design levers improve the risk profile. You're going to want to know how do people perform better in productivity. Are they more adherent and over what time? Are there complications that have nothing to do with the drug? Are there co concerns about side effects? That could be a drug scenario. But are there concerns about, gee, I don't want to inject insulin on the public floor. I want a private place to do it. You need to be able to address those kinds of answers to the people that you're trying to move your product to. That's why you will see us beginning to map your kinds of outcomes to productivity. Because at the end of the day, the employer cares about productivity. The employer did not sign up to be the health manager unless they were the health system or the provider group. They signed up to provide a workplace and sell their products, and they need a healthy community in which to sell it. This shows that when we can reduce those productivity costs by 1%, if you skim all the way to the right-hand side, you will see what we get is the opportunity to hire a three-quarter person in that county's clinics to provide, a nurse practitioner to provide screenings and immunizations to the children in that county. That's how we translate the effect of your products into the marketplace. We need your help in being able to do that. I really just want to show you, I want to get way beyond all of this so I can give some of my cohorts some time to speak. A value-based design, by definition, because it's focused on outcomes, has to be built on an outcomes-based contract. That means that you will be asked, as you bring your product to the purchasers, what can I expect, in what time frame, and if you are really diligent, for what segment of my population. The faster that you can get to that spot, the faster we will be able to get accelerated adherence to your drugs and your technologies in our population. 